I would like to introduce you to our final speaker, Scott Thompson, Technical Specialist. Welcome, Scott. Hello, my name is Scott Thompson. I'm a Technical Specialist with PTC. Um, I've been with PTC for five years, working with our traditional service authoring tools, including technical documentation as well as illustrations. Today I will be presenting Vuforia Studio for delivery of Creo Illustrate animations. So today what I'd like to show is an example of reusing the illustrations that Julian created in Creo Illustrate. Um, then we'll take a look at how we can create something like that from scratch. And then finally I have a, a built out example that would show some more functionality that we can do. Um, the idea behind Vuforia Studio is to be able to rapidly develop applications for delivery of virtual reality and augmented reality using CAD data as a source for those experiences. The first experience I have is, again, it's going to reuse those animations that Julian created. And let me show you a little preview of what that looks like. So here we can see um, is our ski, and we have our tools, and we have our arrow, um, just like Julian placed within Creo Illustrate. And this is an example that could be delivered to a mobile device. So in this case, we're previewing a tablet screen um, in the web browser. Um, but we are in a 3D environment around this model. Um, you'll see I have two little buttons here. So we have our tabletop, and we also have our product overlay experiences. So this is just kind of simulating an application where you could do either um, a tabletop or a product overlay view of those animations that Julian created. Um, so it's a very simple experience. Um, when we select on one, um, we will load the animation. We can see we have text come in that might provide context. Um, for our animation, and it will play through that when we hit the play button. So we don't have to play through all of this. Um, we, we did see Julian create it um, earlier. Um, but we have five steps here, and it'll show us how to go ahead and remove that spindle. Let's take a look at what the product overlay might look like and how that's different than the tabletop experience. So when we load the product overlay sequence, um, you can see that we no longer have the ski, um, and that's useful since we're only animating the parts that will move. So if we're placing this on top of the physical object, um, it'll help those parts stand out, and we can use the rest of the physical object to make up um, the rest of the structure. So again, um, our animation here will, will show us exactly what we need to do. Um, and it's going to go through those same sequences and, and steps that we saw before. So let's dig in, and I'll show you a little bit about how I built this um, experience for delivery. And then we'll, we'll, we can take a look at creating one from scratch and um, really how simple this tool is to utilize those Creo Illustrate animations and sequences. So here is the tool um, we would use, or the building environment um, within Vuforia Studio. Um, we have our 3D model that we have placed. Um, so there's really two components. We have our 3D model. Um, this is coming, again, I pulled this down from where Julian saved this in Windchill. Um, so here's my PVZ delivery, uh, my lightweight CAD file I'm using. Um, again, you can see the screwdriver. You can see the arrow Julian placed in there. Um, and then on top of that, we have built out um, here is our 2D overlay that's going to be on top of that. And that's where it provides our context for our buttons um, that we were using inside the experience. And then here's our play button that was, we were using to advance our sequence. Before your studio allows us to do um, bindings between our buttons. So we'll see this in just a second. But our play button, um, we can bind that to the model to have that advance and, and move through our sequence. The other thing we can do, um, and I'll just show you quickly here, is you can use um, applications for styling of your buttons. Um, so for instance, our buttons we saw um, had a green border and also that text. Um, I used a CSS style um, 
file sheet to go ahead and create that for me. Um, so that's very useful to make things feel and look the same throughout your experience. And the other thing I did with this one is I created um, some simple JavaScript that interacted with the experience. Um, so in this case, I have two functions for the buttons that will load our different sequences Julian created from the same source file. And then here you can see my step text that I have appearing, um, and I have a simple function that sets that to the correct, um, the correct step of the sequence as we advance through it. Um, so using these tools, you can really create some really neat experiences. Um, I, I hope you check out um, some other Vuforia Studio demonstrations and see some of the additional features that you can do with that. So having taken a look, little look behind the scenes, let's take a look again at our experience that we created. And we can kind of walk you through a little bit of what we just saw. So the first part, um, we see we already have our 3D model, and we also have our 2D overlays. Um, so those are those two different portions. Um, we looked at the application style sheet, um, and that's what's determining how these buttons look. So they have a border, um, and it's a different color than the inside. I did that with the CSS style sheet. And then the final portion I showed you was the JavaScript. So when I click on a button, um, it's JavaScript that's loading in that model behind the scenes. And you can do a lot of that without using JavaScript. Um, I just wanted to show that that was um, something you can do in the tool as well. So let's start from scratch, and I can show you really how quick and easy it is to, to start creating something that has a lot of value. So we're going to create a new project. We'll call that Scott Webcast. Um, and when we're creating our projects, we can choose how we would like to author them. So we could choose for a mobile device um, or a different type of overlay eyewear that we could use to preview or view that sequence. So we'll stick with our, our mobile application, um, since that's very easy to show here on the web browser. And we can choose what type of initial view we would like as well. So we'll start with our 3D view um, for the mobile delivery. And we'll load in um, just a blank, brand new project. And I'll show you how we can come in and create something, again, um, using Julian source object. So here's our, our 3D environment that we're in. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to bring in um, Julian's model. So I can bring in a 3D model item, and I can just choose um, the file that I would like to bring in. Um, so here's the PVZ um, coming in from Windchill. Um, I just downloaded this to my desktop for our webcast today. Here again, we can see uh, Julian's E and his animation he created for us. Um, we can set that at our zero coordinates um, within the environment um, or anywhere else that we would like that to, to come in. And we can come down and let's choose an individual sequence. So we will do the tabletop um, sequence that Julian created as uh, the, the default sequence. So we have that loaded. Um, the next thing we need to do is to get this to function is we need some way to interact with the model. Um, so if we just took a look at this right now and previewed this, um, we'll just see our 3D model. Um, so uh, useful and neat to be able to have that come in, um, but there's really no way for us to come in and interact with this right now. So to do that, we, we'll use the two-dimensional overlay on our screen, and um, we can put in, for instance, a button on our screen here. And I'm just dragging that over. And let's have our button say, play. And I can have an event on this button. So when I click on this button, I can drag that over to my model in my, my tree that I'm building out here. And I can say that I would like that to play my model. So just reviewing what, what we've done, we started in our 3D, placed a model. And then I added a button in our two-dimensional overlay. And I said that when we click this button, I would like it to play my model. And all I did to do that was just drag and drop. So let me save that, and we can see um, exactly what's going to happen here. So again, just a, a very basic um, example here. But here's our ski, and here's our play button that we've added. And you can see when I play that, um, Julian's sequence will load and will play.
this is a really neat tool to use. Um, I enjoy um, coming in here, and it, it's neat to be able to reuse something so interactive uh, as a sequence um, coming from Creo Illustrate. The last thing I have for you is just an example of um, using the same data set. Um, th these are different animations that we created for our LiveWorks event. Um, and this is an experience that is a little bit further built out. But again, it's built on those same principles. Um, you may even recognize some of my styling is the same um, between the different applications, um, and that's because it is. Um, so um, we can see here, uh, again, we have our ski. Um, here's a list of animated procedures that you can load. So for instance, if we wanted to run through the ski installation procedure here, um, uh, again, it, this is created in Creo Illustrate being reused here within Vuforia Studio. We have instructions on how to do that. Um, you can see here is a, a reset tool, um, you know, so we can do that. And I should mention uh, this experience was built to be a tabletop experience and also an on-part experience. So um, we had two different um, applications that you could pick either one you wanted to launch. Um, again, just using different sources from Creo Illustrate. Um, something else we did in this experience is um, we have kind of a part picker uh, view here. So you can, you can turn on the rest of the snowmobile uh, if you wanted to load that in. And we also created um, kind of the opposite view where if we wanted to dig down into the parts that make up this ski, um, we built that out in this experience as well. So that little animation there, um, that was created in Creo Illustrate, and we're just reusing it here within Euphoria Studio. So it's a very neat application, um, a great way to, to use your animations um, or, or sequences that you're creating or graphics in Creo Illustrate. Uh, that's all I have for my uh, demo portion, so thank you for your time. and. Uh, uh, Scott, thank you so much for your time today. For more information, we have some great resources for you below in the resource library section.